What's going on guys? Today I'll be building a simple camper for the Jeep. That way we could have all this extra bed space and platform space available during our camping sessions. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Jeep video. In this video, I'll be tackling my Jeep Camper Build 2.0. Now, I've already attempted this prior. Initially, I just did a simple bed top with some cubby storage and ended up uh, removing the back seats. And that was a simple rudimentary solution. Just didn't know what I was doing, but I still did it and it came out nice. Well, not nice, but decent enough for it to be functional to how I wanted to function. And it worked out great. Um, unfortunately, the winter I went on my excursion in Colorado, I did not have that um, camper system. I had put in my rear seats back into the Jeep. And for some reason, just having the seats on that incline and the, the mid section of the seats where they fold, it just gets very uncomfortable very quick so I figured it's time I attempt a second version of that camper idea and maybe I can come up with a cleaner nicer finish this time and hopefully it goes great and again this project is meant to be a simple budget build as well so if any of you jeepers are interested in building your own you can see it's not too hard pretty straightforward too. Now my bill of material thus far has been under 50 bucks so again you know this is a budget build so for example the three quarter inch board piece that I got is $28.62 let's say 30 bucks and then I got two studs um, one for $3.55 another one for $7.65 so that's like 10 bucks so that's already 40 bucks and then like six bucks for the nails to bring it all together. So that's what, 46 bucks. Um, it ain't bad, it ain't bad. That should give out a fully functional small camper system so that it's flat. I could put a bed, maybe some cubby storage. And hopefully this time I'll also work on the finish a bit, make it look nice, you know. Maybe I can make it uh, match like the finish of this wood. That'd be, that'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty dope. Originally, I was like, oh, let me get a bamboo board. It's gonna look so dope. But it's like 200 bucks for like a piece of bamboo board. It's like, uh, I'd rather stay under 50. All right, so this is essentially the layout of the sleeping system I had at the start of my Colorado expedition. Um, again, very basic, just the seats folded down with a simple little topper. Even added a piece of freaking cardboard box to just <laughs> have over the rib place of where the freaking seats fold down because, man, that'll, that'll turn you one in your back, I promise. In any case, I've been meaning to do more camp out sessions on the Jeep, go exploring again. And I feel this time it'd be best if I have that camper system situated with a even surface, useful storage, and better ergonomics as well. Cause uh, it just suck getting in and out of the Jeep through the passenger seats because of the folded down stuff and then you hit yourself with the freaking latches of the door and 
it was just way more hassle. So hopefully this camper system is a lot better for our scenario, especially since most of my back is taken over by the dogs. So the thought being here is that'll be a perfect flat surface to have like maybe a little mattress topper or you know a simple bed system and the bottom space will be additional storage more likely storage for my dogs i.e food water snacks toys because now i got two big huskies so let's see how this goes guys Okay guys, so I have the camper all said and done. I already took it out for a spin to the beach, couldn't wait. But as you can tell, I already have it set up as I normally would. So the platform wood piece is underneath this all. It is providing a solid flat foundation to complete this bed surface. So for this, I just simply put like a weatherproof uh, material right on top of like the wood and carpet of the Jeep. It is a, actually, it's a dog rated um, protective cover for vehicles. Um, 
specifically the ones you put like in between the seats and whatnot. I just got like an extra large one that can, you know, cover this whole flat surface. And then on top of that, I just put a uh, Coleman um, sleeping bag on top just for like a nice little comfy soft quilt, you know. And to finish it off, I topped it off with a Cabela topper here. And it's like one and a half inch uh, foam topper. So it just gives that extra cushion just to be able to sleep anywhere, which is, which is great. Like I just took it out to the beach and it was nice and comfortable being able to sit here, back there, just open the door and be able to like comfortably sit without having to like awkwardly get in and out. So that's been a major plus. I'm going over here to the side as you can see I'm already using the additional cubby space as storage so here I have miscellaneous items such as the uh, LED camping light rip LED camping light some pins for my awning to hold it down and then I have uh, blinds Blankets, chairs, doggy kibble, everything. So, so having usable space now, like in this area where seats were taking a big chunk of, is nice to have. Especially when sometimes you just need to stuff things wherever you can, you know. Let's go to my other side. Shoes, solar panels, doggy leashes. Here I have a doggy bed when they're in there. Now I did try to stain it to give it a nice finish, but it was a complete fail. It should have been a dark gray finish, but it actually came out looking more like blue. So. Not too proud of that one, but at the end of the day, it's covered by everything anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Might end up just painting it, painting it completely black, as it is an interior piece. So, there's that. <laughs> but, yeah. As you can see, it's there, guys. Nice and solid. Perfect. Perfect.